exclusive, another Markle wedding. Thomas J.R. reveals he and his fiancée will tie the knot in March after troubled relationship and are inviting Meghan and Harry in hopes of bringing the family closer together. Meghan Markle's brother has revealed he plans to marry his fiancée Darlene Blount in March and will be inviting the Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry to the wedding. Thomas Markle J.R. of Grants Pass, Oregon, popped the question to Blount, 38 in a park close to their home and through a New Year's Eve party to celebrate setting a date. The window fitter, 52, has now told Daily Mail he hopes his impending nuptials will help bring his family back together and says he wants his younger sister to attend even though he missed out on an invitation to the royal wedding last May. He said, absolutely I think our wedding will bring the family closer together. It's hopeful that if Meghan and Harry came and my father Meghan and Harry could spend some time together with him and that would be good. Pregnant Meghan has not spoken to her father since before her wedding, despite the 74-year-old bombarding her with text messages in the hopes of a reconciliation. Markle S.R. was caught staging paparazzi photos in the week before the royal wedding and then failed to attend the event, citing a series of heart attacks. He has also given a number of interviews, including a controversial one in which he revealed some of his son-in-law's political views, including that he is pro-Brexit and thinks President Trump should be given a chance. Despite pleading with his daughter to get in touch, Markle S.R. spent Christmas without hearing from her and, instead, celebrated the festive season with close friend Lori Davis, 38, at his home in Rosarito, Mexico. Markle J.R. spent the Christmas period at home with Blount and her eight-year-old son but welcomed in the New Year with an engagement party for close friends at a bar called Mill Street. Mugshots in Grants Pass Earlier the same day, the couple told Dale Mail about their love story and their plans to wed, with Markle J.R. joking that he plans to dress up as Elvis and skydive into the ceremony. He also says he hopes the wedding, due to be held in either Reno or Las Vegas, Nevada, will provide the Markle family with a chance to get together and put the Rose of 2018 behind them. The 52-year-old said, Starting out the new year by bringing our family closer together is definitely on the to-do list it's very important. Opening bracket the wedding closing bracket would be a perfect time for Meg to get together with my dad who is her father as well and just put all the past behind everybody and move on and be a closer family again. My dad would really enjoy that. Possibly it will bring the family closer especially if everybody shows up. Single mom Blown and Markle Jr. have been dating for two years and were introduced by a mutual friend shortly after Meghan and Harry announced they were a couple in November 2016. Blount told DailyMail.com that Markle J.R.'s royal connections were one of the first things he told her about and admitted that she thought he was crazy to start with. She told Daily Mail, it was kind of funny because it was around the time Meghan and Harry started dating. He told me about it and I thought he was completely crazy. Her fiancé added, I remember that very well Meghan and Harry had just started dating and I mentioned it to her and she looked at me like, yeah, who is this guy? Whatever. He's crazy. But it turned out really nice and we've had a really good time ever since. Ups and downs but we've managed to make it so far. When Markle J.R. proposed in March, after just 14 months of dating, Blount said she didn't believe him at first but said yes after he went down on one knee at a park close to their home. Markle J.R. said, there's a really nice park over by our house and we'd go over there and sit by the river and talk and hang out for a while. So one day, I just kind of leaned over and sort of confused the situation a little bit. I threw her in one direction and threw her in the other direction and said, oh by the way, will you marry me? She didn't believe me at first and then I gave her a ring. She said yes. Showing off her white gold and diamond engagement ring, Blount added, I was excited and happy. It's the first time I've been proposed to. The pair now hope their upcoming wedding will help them move on from their well-documented legal troubles, including two arrests for Blount and one for Markle Jr., Blount's latest court case over an incident in July that allegedly left her fiancé with a black eye is due to be officially thrown out in February and the pair are planning to celebrate the end of their legal woes with their wedding in March.
Michael J. R. told DailyMail.com, you can definitely say 2018 has been very rough. We've obviously had our ups and our downs but we always manage to come out on top. I know in my heart I do love her and I know she loves me. She's taught me a lot I never knew about relationships and I'm sure I've taught her a few things but we've always managed to make things work and we're going to take those past learning experiences and put them behind us and use them for the future and hopefully have a really good, exciting new year. Of their wedding, he added, we've talked about our wedding and it's coming in the near future, sometime around March. We've talked about it and we want to have a really small, private wedding just close friends and family. I'll definitely invite my father and my mother, although she won't get on an airplane. And Meghan and Harry as well. It would be kind of exciting if they came, it would be nice. Maybe they can start their new year off in a better tradition and actually be more family involved. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.